I'm not going to be hiding behind any walls, behind any screen doors to protect me from allergies. I'm literally going to be stripping naked and showing you guys everything. I'm going to show you my ad. In 2015, a very wise man, halfway around the world, told me that seed oils are plaguing the people of this planet. He told me that he had figured this out at the young age of 12. This man is a prodigious savant. And in this video today, I'm gonna to open up to you guys about how my life has changed since this man, Luke, told me this. In the eight years since he apprised me of, honestly, the most important message for humanity. If you gave me a majestic microphone, one that could be heard and understood by the entirety of the human race, I would communicate the following 18 word sentence. And then of course I'd have to elaborate seemingly ad nauseum on that, but it would be that consuming more polyunsaturated fat than that found in nature will slowly oxidize your body and cause chronic disease. In the words of Luke, what he said is if he were presented with a magic wand, the one thing that he would eliminate from the modern food supply chain is excess linoleic acid, LA. This is the parent omega-6 polyunsaturated fat. And what I'm going to tell you are five ways that my life has been radically revolutionized and leaves me eternally grateful and appreciative for having intercepted this message. I'm about to tell you five ways that my life has changed in the eight years following the interception and implementation of this fact, which is that seed oils, vegetable oils are incredibly poisonous. And the first step to becoming a truly optimized human being is to detoxify from them by refraining from their consumption. The first unmistakable benefit that I've experienced is endocrinological optimization, testosterone, my total testosterone. The last time I had it measured was 902.9 nanograms per deciliter. And this is something that I am so freaking passionate about as an extreme INTJ crossing the T's and dotting the I's. I'm incredibly rigorous. What gets measured gets managed and testosterone total and free are the two most important biomarkers for a man in terms of shedding light on his overall health and experience of life. Testosterone facilitates every waking minute of your life as a guy. And if you have subclinical levels, then you're not going to be able to thrive to the extent that you would otherwise be able to. When you have high T, effort feels good. Things just feel easier. You're just ready to take the bull by the horns in life. And the best way that I could characterize this, the most apt characterization that I could offer in terms of the qualitative difference of being a high T man versus a low T, because surely I've been both, is that being high T just feels good. It just feels right. Sleeping like a rock and waking up as hard as one. Seed oils, vegetable oils, we're talking about corn, canola, cotton seeds, soybean, sunflower, safflower, rice bran, grapeseed, even sesame and peanut oil. These are very rich in the aforementioned polyunsaturated fats in PUFAs. And you probably heard the saying that you are what you eat. And indeed, you become what you eat and what you eat ate. And if you are eating a diet that is more than, this is the cap that I will forever stand by, 10% of your dietary fat as polyunsaturated. If you're consuming 10% or more dietary fat as polyunsaturated, you've got problems. <laughs> you've got problems and you may not be paying the piper today, 
But down the road, what's gonna happen is those polyunsaturated fats are going to continue to accumulate in your body fat, not least of which, but they'll also represent an increasing proportion of the cell membrane throughout your body, including the Leydig cells of your testicles. The consequence of that, more estrogen and less testosterone. The second profound benefit that I'm immensely grateful for is having reversed actually a number of different chronic diseases. And this is something that the world of medicine, Western medicine at least, doesn't have any answers for. Because if you go to Google right now and you were to type in, does eosinophilic esophagitis have a cure? we would realize that there actually is no medically recognized cure. And so what then is the prescription? It's lifelong pharmaceuticals for which you're not deficient. In life, the cure hides where the cause resides and Western medicine doesn't get at the cause. So necessarily they never elucidate and implement the cure. And these inflammatory oils are causing not just eosinophilic esophagitis. Itis, by the way, means inflammation. Chronic inflammation is the root cause of myriad diseases of modern civilization. And so it's no mistake then, it's no coincidence that it's not just eosinophilic esophagitis, the consequences of which I no longer have to contend with, food impaction, daily dysphagia, acid reflux, odonophagia, painful swallowing, not the least of which. But also, exercise-induced asthma. I used to wheeze a lot. I had an inhaler, Pro-Air, in case I had an asthma attack. Shortness of breath, <laughs> son of a bitch, <laughs> SOP. It's no mistake then that I no longer have to contend with the consequences of any of the above diseases. And I don't believe that you should have to either. If your health isn't everything that it could be right now, I hope that you have this insight that, geez, maybe if this guy detoxified from seed oils, maybe I could too. And I could garner the same benefits. And that's why I'm making this video because I believe in you. I believe that you're going to take your health into your own hands. You're actually gonna take action and you're gonna wake up and realize a more beautiful life before you because you're gonna have more energy. You're gonna have more testosterone. You're gonna be sleeping better. You're gonna be more endocrinologically optimized. You're just gonna have that big smile on your face, man. You're going to be lit up on the inside. You're going to be bright eyed and bushy tailed about life. You're going to be excited to live life and to experience it, to sample the proverbial buffet that it indeed is. The next benefit that I am frankly eternally grateful for is no longer having to suffer from allergic rhinitis, perennial allergies, environmental allergies, dust mites, pollen, cats, goldenrod, just scratching the tip of the proverbial iceberg. The third thing that I'm eternally grateful for is frankly just improvements in my skin health, in my complexion, and in its resistance to UV damage, oxidation. I no longer have to worry about going outside without lathering up with cancer-causing sunscreen. I can just go about my day and wear, ideally, a zinc-based sunscreen. That's more of an anti-aging play. And not have to worry about getting burned in half an hour, 45 minutes, just being out in the sun. <laughs> I'm protected from that because of the ratios of fat that constitute my skin at the cellular level. And I'm also less prone to breakouts, less prone to acne, rosacea, 
these unsightly, also chronic inflammatory conditions, just like I had mentioned eosinophilic esophagitis earlier, acne vulgaris and rosacea both having inflammatory underpinnings. And I no longer have to deal with that anymore. The fourth thing that I'm really grateful for is just the fact that I can go visit my family, which I'm about to do this evening. Just nice to have have dinner with them. And they've got these three cats that are just roaming around, right? You've got Simba, Ella, and Gidget. And I used to be hyper reactive to these cats. In fact, I used to be so allergic, so reactive to cats that I can remember my coworker, Kevin, would leave behind his coat. And on days that he wouldn't work, I would work at his desk. And he's got cats roaming around ostensibly at home, right? There's some cat hairs left over on his jacket. And within two hours of working at his desk, I would already be paying the Piper man. My eyes would be watery, a little bit itchy. I'd have a runny nose. I'd have to go to the bathroom, blow my nose. Like I was already experiencing these symptoms of allergies within two hours of not even direct contact, just being in the vicinity of these hairs. And now it's at the point where I can drive over to mom and dad's. I can sit down. We can go for our post-meal walk. Very healthy, by the way. 10-minute walks after meals. It's the number one thing. Better than metformin, a prescription medication that you can do to improve your blood sugar and by extension, your A1C, your glycated hemoglobin, your average glucose, your metabolic health. I can go over. I can hug my mom. I can hug my dad. I can enjoy a great meal with the both of them. And I don't have to worry about the cats roaming around. I don't have to worry about Gidget when she jumps up on the couch, lays down, and I pet her. My dad's a carpenter. And when I was a kid growing up, he had built, he had erected a screen door to protect me. To protect me from what? To protect me from the two cats that we had at the time. (laughs) I love cats, man. I love animals. My parents would go to bed early. They've got that lion chronotype. They go to bed 8.30, 9 o'clock, surely at the latest. Except on Thursday nights, we'd watch Survivor. (laughs) And I would sneak in the cats after hours, after my mom and dad had gone to bed. But then I would have to pay the piper. I would have to endure the consequences of that decision. So it was like there was a pro, but then there was a con. And now it's just upside. I don't have to be protected. There is no screen door. I can experience life and not have to suffer because of it. My life has improved immensely since like a drill sergeant calling out these oils for what they are. And I believe that you can and will do the same thing. Number five, my friend, is that my eyes are no longer super sensitive to sunlight. I literally no longer have to shield my eyes. I don't have to put on the sunglasses and hide from my greatness, as it were. I can step into the light that gives me life. And that feels so good, especially as someone who was inundated with this incredibly limiting belief, a self-fulfilling prophecy, you might say, that I just had vampire eyes, right? I've got lighter colored eyes. And I was told that because of that, I'm just always going to be a little bit sensitive. I would literally be at the brink of crying, of tearing up, just looking at the sun indirectly. And it's not the brightest out today, so I can't exactly exemplify this in real time. But I was out for a walk recently shooting a short. And the sun was just directly in my face, just beating down on me ostensibly cooking my skin and my eyes, but neither were affected. I got a nice tan out of it, in fact, and my eyes, I didn't even have to squint. I could just walk into the light straight ahead and they didn't even tear up. No pain, no watering, no problem. 
these five things are things that I'm grateful for. And I try to quantify them as much as I can. The 902.9 testosterone, right? What gets measured gets managed. Trying to cross these T's and dot these I's and give you guys as much proof as I possibly can. I really hope you get bought into this. I hope you see me as not some narcissist who thinks he's holier than thou, who thinks that he's got this infallible philosophy that he wants to just shove down everyone else's throat. I actually don't want that at all. I want you to become the best version of yourself. I want you to actualize your own potential and actually wake up, be excited about life again, man. Let's put the humanity back in the human race. Let's get excited, man. Let's realize what's possible for us. Let's realize that it takes a number of years to detoxify from these oils. Let's realize that a week, a month in, you're already going to be getting mitochondrial benefits. You are already going to have more energy, more cognitive faculties, more wherewithal, more sustained energy and effort to exert forth. But let's get really turned on by the second, third, fourth order consequences of this. When I talk about no longer being reactive to cats, that took like half of a decade, man, for me to get to that point. So there are short-term benefits, but there are also long-term benefits. And I'm here to hopefully epitomize, exemplify, and inspire you as to what's possible and to just encourage you and to whisper in your ear that this is possible, that your life will never be the same again if you go on this journey with me, if you trek this territory, if you blaze this trail, find your freedom. That's the name of the trail, man. That's why I make these videos. And that's why I love you so much because I know you're shackled right now like I used to be in the proverbial prison of your own mind, of your own making. And you want a way out. You're looking for a way out. And I'm just here to give you the master key. You just got to turn it and push forward and see what's on the other side of that proverbial prison cell. I love you very much. Thanks for checking out today's video. Drop a comment down below. How can I be of more service to you? If you want to see more from me, I recommend subscribing to this channel. I've got some really exciting events on the horizon that I'm immensely appreciative for having been able to establish. In 15 days, 14 days, two weeks, today's Friday, I'm going to be doing an upper endoscopy. I'm going to be showing exactly what my esophagus looks like, a 14 year update to my eosinophilic esophagitis journey. Next month in November, I'm going to be turning 30, which is pretty crazy to think about. Anti-aging. It's another benefit of eliminating seed oils and eating more saturated fat. Your skin is going to age more gracefully, as well as your entire biology at the endogenous level. In November, I'm going to be getting a DEXA scan to measure my bone mass and my fat mass. I'm going to be doing a linoleic acid adipose tissue biopsy. I'm really appreciative for that. There's an author who wrote a paper on the changes in linoleic acid over the past several decades, 50, 60 years, who I've been fortunate enough to facilitate a relationship with. And she's going to actually use her laboratory, her resources to measure exactly how much linoleic acid is in my body fat. So if not all of the other benefits that I've expounded upon, I want to substantiate that, quantify that to the greatest extent possible. I'm not going to be hiding behind any walls, behind any screen doors to protect me from allergies. I'm literally going to be stripping naked and showing you guys everything. I'm going to show you my adipose tissue biopsy. She's also going to be doing a blood test, literally showing the composition of the phospholipid bilayer of the erythrocytes in my blood. This is going to be no holds barred, guys. No holds barred. I'm going to be showing you guys everything. 
I'm also going to be doing a very expensive but worthwhile comprehensive blood test. I'm going to be showing you all of my micronutrients in my blood. I'm going to be showing you my total testosterone, my free testosterone, sensitive estradiol, my DHT, my cortisol, you name it, and I'm going to get it measured. My ApoB, my oxidized LDL, low-density lipoprotein, my HDL, my triglycerides. Guys, the list goes on and on. I want to give you as much buy-in as possible because I know that if I were you, I would be just as skeptical as I would be of everyone else. But the idea I want to leave you with is maybe you can be skeptical of your own skepticism and give my philosophy a shot. I love you. I believe in you. And until next time, find your freedom. Peace.